My name's Drew Martin. So I got this new record coming. It's called Where's Your Feet? I wanted this record to kind of be a contrast to the first one. I wanted it to kind of dig a little deeper and kind of show a little bit more of the grit. Because the first record was about showing people where I was from and sort of take them into the dream of being in the valley. And this one is more like kind of digging in the earth. Like let's, let's dig in a little bit. It's more stomping and, and it captures more of my live feeling. For the reason we said, uh, where's your feet? I wanted it to ask a question because a lot of the songs do have this weariness to them. And I feel like it's kind of me like busting out of the feeling of being in a pandemic because there was a lot of unknown during that time and it questions the meaning of home and all of those things. So I wanted it to be a reflection of that word, my name. Kainalu is my, that's like my Hawaiian name is the ocean wave or the billowing sea. This cover art is just, um, it's just these shell faces that I've been doing for a while. These are all shells that I found out diving and pieces of driftwood that I found out on the beach. And I found this flower as I was coming out of the Iao Valley. I thought, ooh, what if I put a hibiscus on this shell art for the cover? I put it on, I took the picture, and I knew that was it. That completed the cover art. And hibiscus, usually they'll kind of die and wilt up. But this one, the next day, I went to clear all the shells off of this and it closed itself up. It just like had the perfect closure. It was just like, it was still alive on there. It's like, what is that? That was some freaky thing. <laughs> I knew right away, gotta keep the hibiscus and there's something to this cover art that's different. It is a reflection of the feeling of this record. There's a, a lot of beauty in it, but there's like some, there's some grit to the cover art too. And I just can't wait. I'm all giddy for this thing. I can't wait to get it out, yeah. I think we did it, and I've just, I'm all spongy. I'm spongy. Look at me, I'm spongy. <laughs>
for this record and it's the funkiest song and I wanted to put this out first because it is just like the most different thing from the first record. There's nothing like this song on the first record and I wanted it to be like, you know, we got something different going on. I wrote this song around this, um, this bird that was on the trail. Like he'd do a call and he'd echo back to you, he'd make a whistle and he would do the same whistle back and almost like making fun of you on the trail. And I still can see him like through the vivy, the little guava trees. Whenever I play this song, I'm back on that trail and I can, I can see the, the bird with the long black tail and the white chest and I can hear his call and I go back to that spot when I play this song. So, and it's, it's a song kind of um, just about not giving up on love. That's what it's about and how you can find that feeling when you look at a bird um, and how there's freedom, freedom in that. And I just thought, oh, I gotta write something around that. So I put a whistle into this song and I kind of built it around the feeling of a bird and that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Try your wings, 
wipe your eyes Take me where the will find Open up your Open up your eyes. Spread your wings and take you tomorrow's out to touch the sky Go where the wind blows You let my free spirit find Roll down your window Reach out to touch the sky Go where the wind blows You let my free spirit fly Like it was so quiet until the I, slide thing. I was thing. worried that it was gonna like. Me too. <laughs> no, I was, I was hearing all that too. Yeah, it worked out perfect. I that like that was some be, magic. You that was, be it's, it's and so the good. birds and the silence of it, like everything went still. Yeah. I liked it. it was yeah. When you started to pick up again, and it was like. No, <laughs> we. I don't think we can. No, nah, that. that's good. <laughs> this, this song is like the most personal thing on this record. It was the hardest one to record. When we finally had it, it was one tape, and we knew right away. So I feel like what we just did is is matching the way we recorded the song. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah. Because the puuvai is the spirit of your heart. That's what that word is. Puuvai is like your heart. When it's coming from there, you cannot really. I don't know. You can't really control that feeling. It's just when you know it's there, it's some magic, and I feel like we just hit it. So yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's when I know it's a good version is when I'm back there like I can see my two white birds fly in and like I felt it on that so I feel like it's the deepest valley song on this one like I didn't write this thing it came from somewhere else I don't know I wrote it as a collection of poems I just knew it was something worth keeping I wrote it during the pandemic in the middle of all that it was just a song to kind of remember that feeling inside of us the spirit of your heart and with all that was going on I see it as a reminder to look into that because that's the source of all your aloha and all of your love. And don't let anything that's going on in your life take that away from you because I feel like the more people go through life, the more it makes them water down that feeling and get more in their head. And It's just a reminder to live more in your heart. And That's where all the aloha is and that's where the honesty is and just keeping that. It was just a good reminder with all the things that were going on during that time to just look into that. That's it. It's simple. Never 
understood my pain. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Ah. Nickel and a die. Oh no, uh, ask me for a little gold. Get me those pockets yesterday. Ask me for a little tie. Nickel on my mind. Oh no, uh, Oh no, uh, Oh no, uh, Tomorrow's sky Tomorrow's sky Tomorrow's sky with a blue bird flies Tomorrow's sky with a blue bird flies Take these tears out from my This song, uh, Greg and Billy, I wrote it out in Kahakuloa. It's this little village out on the west side of Maui, kind of wrapping around the west, coming back into the North Shore. And there's all these sea cliffs out there, and this was another one that kind of wrote itself. And It's just kind of a simple message for this. It's almost like that Maluhia feeling 
on the first record, just to kind of remember the simple beauty of this world. It was about capturing the feeling of that, that side of the island. Like I wanted to kind of bring that feeling into a song. It is like how I was describing Pu'u Vai and all of the songs that I play. It's like when I'm playing it, I'm there and I can feel the winds of that side of the island. And it just brings everything to life and it is a song to just kind of remember that feeling. And the feeling of peace that you get when you're out on these cliffs. And that's what I wanted to bring with this song. And it, it is, I feel like I, I brought it. It's hard to describe like the meaning of these songs. Like I know the feeling of them, but to like say like, oh, this is the meaning of it, it's hard for me because it is like, soon as I put it out there, it's not, it's not mine anymore. It's up to the people to figure out what it means to them. It's the, that's the magic of music too, is the interpretation of it. Oh, don't lose yeah. your 